Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using Boilerplate and this is our part 16th of this video session series in which we will discuss that what are the different ways that how can we get logged in user details in our WordPress page. And also guys if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of plugin development using Boilerplate. So in the last video session guys we had discussed several things about plugin development videos in boilerplate. So in this video session basically what we will see that what are the various ways by the help of which we can get actually the user details. To get the login user details we have these ways by using these functions by using all these functions. First wp get current user basically it returns all the information about logged in user okay second get current user id basically this function returns only the current logged in user id on the behalf of that id actually we will get the user details by using wp user class okay and also if we don't want to use this function then by using this global variable Basically, this is a global variable which provides the user ID of logged in user. Okay. And now the third function is get current user info. It also returns the same means the details as this function returns. But this function actually has been deprecated from WordPress 4.5 version. Okay. So actually we are, we are not going to use this function but we will see that how can we return this function the whole details of a current logged in user. And finally a function is there for us that is get user data. Basically this function takes parameter as a user ID. Okay. We will pass this user ID to this function and this function returns all the details about this user ID. Okay, so step by step we will see all these functionalities in action. Okay, so just back to editor first. So this is our editor guys and this is the page that we have developed in our previous video session. Okay, so now we are going to discuss about this function first. So just make copy of that. And let's say that here let's say in h4 tag. So just I am writing it in eco tag let's say h4 and here let's say that the user details okay and now let's say that eco pre tag okay and within this pre tag or let's say that only instead of this opening pre tag okay and now we are going to store these user details into this variable okay what we did we have actually used wp get current user basically returns all the user related details okay we have stored into this variable and now just copy this variable name print r and write within this function okay so just save this file go to browser and this is the page front end page that we have developed in our previous video session okay so just refresh this page now we can see that this is the logged in user details actually it returns like ID, user login, user pass, nickname, email, URL and several things it returns back. Okay, So these are the details according to our use we actually get these data from this key. Okay, So how can we get any of the data from this object? Simply just copy this or instead of copy let's say that actually we want to retrieve the ID of this user ID so this is an object okay so we you'll we use the arrow operator for that and this is the ID so if we save this file just make it as a duplicate tab okay and refresh this page so this is the ID actually we have retrieved from this object if you want to retrieve the user email so just copy this key go to editor and just replace with this id okay save this file if we save this file just refresh this page and now this is the email id okay because these data are inside this data object okay so just we have to use the arrow operator to get any of the data inside this data detail okay so this is the first way that how can we get the logged in user details 
so now in the second way actually it returns the current user ID okay so just make copy of that so before using this function guys if you go to our WordPress page this is the email ID actually we have retrieved okay so if we suppose log out our system then it returns just suppose open the page okay let's say that admin admin the username just going to page and let's open this page first okay and now log out your application so if here as you can see when actually we have log in, logged in successfully logged in then it returns the email id and now when we are logged out from the system then just refresh this page it returns the blank values indicating that when a user logged in then it returns the current logged in user details okay so now just log in again refresh this page and this is the email id okay so in the second way it returns the user id so just make copy of that go to code editor so just make comment all these sections first okay and now let's say that we are going to store the user id into this variable and this function returns the user id okay by the help of this user id and also the use of this function basically it returns the whole details about the user okay so before instead of this using let's say that we want to get the user details and this is the variable and let's say that new wp user okay and now we need to pass this user id in this class okay and it returns all the details about this user okay so just pr use print r and print all these details okay so just save this file and refresh this page so you can see that these all details that actually we are getting by the use of wp current user id and wp user class okay basically this function returns the current logged in user id okay so if we print this variable let's say echo save this file and refresh this page now as you can see it returns the id1 okay so just make use of a break tag here let's say that br refresh this page and now this is the user id actually it returns okay and now as also you can see that this wp user function actually class returns also a user id of one if you go to the database section just click on boiler and now let's see wp users and this is the user actually logged in admin admin which basically of id one okay so this is how actually we are getting the details of the current user logged in okay so now in the third section if we just make copy of that and instead of using this let's make a global user id okay so just make copy of that going to browser and just refresh this section once again okay and let's say that global user id this is the global user id actually variable provided by wordpress okay so let's say that user details and now let's say wp user okay and basically this user id is a global variable which actually set after login okay and suppose when we log into our wordpress application then it returns the id of the current logged in user so just make copy of that and paste inside this parenthesis okay so just save this file go to browser and refresh this page and now we can see that it does not returns anything because we have not printed here okay so just make use of print r refresh this page once more and now it returns the user details on the behalf of what actually we id we are getting okay so if we are just copy this variable and let's say that echo let's say echo and this is the global variable and let's say with a br tag okay so just save this file this is the global variable id actually returning and these are the details okay so second way we have seen that how can we get the user details as well now we are going to use this function as well so just make copy of that let's comment all these sections okay 
so let's say that user details and this is the function but this function actually has been deprecated from WordPress 4.5 version okay so this function actually has no longer use but actually we will see that how can we get the logged in user details by using this function as well so just save this file and now refresh this page this function has also returned guys as you can see the same details actually we are getting before that okay so this function has also the same functionality as this function does okay this function also returns the current logged in user details so now in the next method that get user meta just make a copy of that let's comment out these sections first and let's say that ego or let's say that user details okay get user data and let's say print r okay just make copy of this variable and paste inside that but this function actually does not returns any details about the current logged in user why why does not return because we need to pass a current logged in user id inside this function okay so just make global wp user id let's say user id okay so just make copy of that and pass inside this function and now after getting this current user id it returns the user details okay so just save this file and refresh this page as you can see it does not return any different values okay it returns the same values before that so now these are the ways guys actually by the help of which actually we are get or we get actually the current user logged in details okay and also we have seen in our boiler plugin development the different ways or the you can see how can we manage a plugin by using the boilerplate framework okay so guys actually i have put all these sections of code of this boilerplate plugin tutorial in our github and the github repository is github.com slash owt hub okay if you go to this link i will provide this link in this description video and now after going to this link just click on plugin boilerplate when you click on this link then you can get all the code actually weighted in the whole video session of plugin development using boilerplate okay you can download all these files from this github repository i will drop this link into the description of this video okay so step by step guys we have seen each and every section of plugin development using boilerplate and also these functions okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day